Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is day two of 24 days of Little Less Girly. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. So today I have got on my little Minions Christmas top. It's got like tinsel and uh, mistletoe and the little Minions with their Christmas hats on and riding the fluffy unicorn that's been turned into a reindeer and I just think it's really cute. It's from Primark. I will leave it in the description box down below. So today's video I am going to be doing my top 10 songs of 2017. I cannot believe that 2017 is nearly over and we're heading into 2018. That's crazy. This year has brought us the new fivers, the new tenors and some great hits but also some sad things have happened this year like can we all just take some time this Christmas to think about all those people during the terrorist attacks and all the people that we know that might not be here with us this Christmas I know that I'll be missing some people so yeah but on a lighter note let's get on to the video so my number 10 and there's a running theme throughout this list because he dropped some absolute amazing songs this year is Ed Sheeran Castle on the Hill like it's one of my favorite songs of 2017 like I love it then at number nine is another Ed Sheeran song it's Go Away Girl like I absolutely love it it doesn't matter where you are if that song is played you can't help but have a little dance or tap your feet or sing along to the song wherever you are because everyone just knows it. Number eight is Touch by Little Mix. I have swings and roundabouts with Little Mix. Sometimes I feel like their songs can be really upbeat and exciting and sometimes their songs can be a bit too depressing but that's just my personal opinion but I do really like Little Mix as a whole. Number seven, Passion Fruit by Drake. I really liked the song this year. There was just something about it that just, when I first heard it, I couldn't help but dance along to it. And as someone who goes out quite often, I get really excited when I hear it in a club. Number six, which is one of my favourites, which I didn't actually realise was released in 2017. I feel like it's been around a lot longer than that. And that is Paris by The Chainsmokers. I love The Chainsmokers. But I didn't actually realise that Paris was that early on. But I've been listening to it for most of 2017, so it's on my list. Moving on to number five, and that is Stormzy, Big For Your Boots. I feel like everyone, whether you were a Stormzy fan before, you certainly are now, because everyone has gone crazy for him this year. Like, he's always been big, but I feel like this year he's turned into even more of a phenomenon and he has took the world by storm, excuse the pun. Like, I don't know, this song's just so catchy and everyone is just bouncing around the second they hear this song and I love it, so great song. Now, my next one at number four, which if it wasn't for the other songs being so good, I'm pretty sure it would have been at number one. Taylor Swift, you have... Turned yourself around. I absolutely love Look What You Made Me Do. In fact, I love all of your new songs. I love the new Taylor. I mean, I was a massive fan of the old Taylor, but now this Taylor's dead and the new one's here. It's very exciting. I love your new songs. I mean, it's not that I didn't love your old content, because anyone who knows me knows that I've always been a Taylor Swift fan. But, oh my God. Girl, you have thrown it out of the park, and I am loving it. I love the new Rebella shoe, it's fantastic. Number three is my boy Ed Sheeran again with Shape of You. I mean, even m and are using it for their Christmas advert, like, who doesn't love Shape of You? Like, it's just, the song's just so relatable when you actually listen to the lyrics. You're like, how many of us for our teenage years have behaved the way that Ed Sheeran talks about in that song? Like... I mean, if some someone was to take me for a sweet and sour and talk about my family, I'd be well impressed because sweet and sour is my favourite food of all time. And, and everyone loves a cheeky taxi ride after the end of a night. So, number two. 
Now, at first, I wasn't really sure about this song. I do think now it's been very overplayed. But because everywhere I go, it's been played during 2017. And the whole time I was on holiday, I was singing it. And I love it. It has got to be Despacito. Like, who didn't dance and sing to this song during 2017? Like, holy moly. Like, wow. It has been everywhere. It is definitely probably one of the most overplayed songs of 2017. But I love it. Like, I just, yeah, I don't know. When I was on holiday in Turkey, I just loved it so much. And everywhere we went, it was being played. So, and then, finally, drum roll, please. At number one, my top, my top song for 2017 has got to be What About Us by Pink. Like, I absolutely love Pink. Like, she has always been my favourite. Like, I cannot explain to you how much this song just gives me all of the feels. Like, that just... Pink is one of the most inspirational women ever. Like, I love Pink. She is... If anyone listened to her speech this year, when she was talking about how her daughter had said about the way she looks, and she addressed that in such a amazing professional manner that just touched so many of us in ways that we didn't feel. She is an incredible woman. Like, shout out to Pink. She has produced album after album after album and she has smashed it out of the park and I absolutely love her and I can't wait to see what, what she's got lined up for us next. Okay guys, this has been my top 10 songs of 2017. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and hit that little notification bell if you want to. Bye!